are my fellow farmers. This is one of our farms. It's in Embu County. It's uh, in the lower altitude. This is the second crop. Uh, and uh, normally it's the main crop on these sides. So as you can see, I want us to look at uh, how we are supposed to prune our coffee. Yeah, because canopy management is very important. It has its own benefits. Number one, when there is when you've pruned your coffee properly, you there is enough circulation of air and there is uh, penetration of light from top to bottom. And uh, when there is that circulation of air, your coffee is going to yield more, and there will be no. Uh, hiding places for pests and even breeding places for diseases. So when you, you, you've pruned your coffee properly, there's enough saturation of air and there is no uh, 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 good environment for uh, bacteria or even other fungi that affect our coffee. The other thing is when you, you've pruned your coffee properly, you're guaranteed or you're sure of the, the yearly cropping ratio. You have a consistency type of ratio whereby you're able to say my 100 trees bears 1,000 kilos every year or thereabout. Yeah? Not uh, like some farmers will say, I had crop this year, next year I'm not expecting any crop. So when you've pruned your coffee properly, You've arranged your secondaries properly, yeah? You've, like the coffee atlas normally tells us that in one primary branch, two secondaries are the only ones that are around to bear crop. The others are there to, 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 for the next season. So when you're done with this one, you remove these two and you'll have put some two more which will bear the following year. That way you are sure of uh, a consistent uh, a consistent type of uh, yield every year.